Today on the channel, we got a very nice but very evil review with the brand new Zombie Sailor Heels and Faces Danhausen and Bonus Housen Accessory Pack. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another retro wrestling figure unboxing and review. And today we've got something special. We've got the long-awaited, much-anticipated Zombie Sailor Heels and Faces exclusive Danhausen Plus Bonus Housen Accessory Kit. But for all your other wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles and make sure you're using discount code Kyle to save yourself 10%. But Danhausen Finally comes to the Heels and Faces line here. A lot has changed in the world of Dan Housen since uh, 14 months ago or so when this was up for pre-order originally. This took almost a year and a half to get here. We understand the delays, things like that. Zombie Sailor has said going forward they're going to close that window, close that gap to eventually where you order and you have your product within two or three weeks, whatever it would be, to get through the mail system, like a normal ringside collectibles, whatever it may be. So he's going to bridge that gap, which is a good thing because it is very frustrating. I know that does turn a lot of collectors off. A lot of people that want this in their collection, they said, I'm not going to wait a year. I think usually they say like eight months. Okay, it's been delayed to 12, and then here we are, 14 months. So always tough on the delay department, but from what I've seen so far right here in package, man, it was worth the wait as this does does look absolutely phenomenal this is so nice I'm glad I ordered two I ordered two one to keep men on card uh, and then one of course to open here on the channel part of me says gosh I should probably sell this as of right now they're going for like 150 plus can you believe that on eBay right now but we'll see what happens and Dan Housen uh, quite the miracle story out there you know really betting on himself making a lot of moves on the outside finally getting signed up with AEW he is everywhere these days as we do know because he I guess he's very nice and very evil is what I've been told uh, and I've actually met Danhausen before and had a good conversation with him. So uh, there you go. But well, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I guess maybe let's start with this accessory set, the bonus housing set. Why not? And apparently it was only the people that pre-ordered. It's been so long, I can't remember. Was it the ones that pre-ordered week one, week, two weeks span? Not exactly sure how that ended up going down. But I don't think everybody got this. Uh, at first, but then I think there was the delay and they said maybe everybody got it. I don't know. Some of you guys can comment in the comments down below if you got this, but I think everybody got this, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that either. But there it is right there. A very interesting pack. I uh, got a little plastic tray here. You got a, it's almost like uh, just like a candy you'd find. It almost looks like it needs a tag to hang there to be like a candy at the candy store or something. But nice little graphics here, cardboard, official wrestling heels and faces. Jar of teeth, sack of human money, stacks of human money. Very nice, very evil, Danhausen, very limited bonus housing accessory pack. Well, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to devalue this right here in front of everybody's eyes. We're going to take this bad boy out, see what's going on. Uh, but very cool. I always love accessories. You guys know that. And especially in the retro department, see you later, you don't get a lot of accessory type packs with retros. Think back to the Hasbro days. We get a few accessories from every once in a while, but it wasn't the norm. And this is probably, out of all the retro figures ever released, the one with the most accessories. So it does have that going for it. Somebody call up the Guinness Book of World Records people, I guess. But we're going to pop all this stuff out, see what's going on, see what all the fuss is about. Now, here we go here. First thing I'm going to show is the sack of money. It says human money. You got a picture of Dan Housen on it. A nice bag here. A nice kind of dirty bag. It's got some yellowing to it. I don't know if that's staining or what. Uh, but human money, he can't hold this in his hand, carry this around. Because Dan Housen, as we do know, loves the human money. That's his favorite type of money, I've always been told. We do get the jar of teeth, which accidentally opened up on me here. Boy, very small writing. But yeah, not, what's that say? Not beans. Not Beans, 1993, I think is what that says. 
but it's a little uh, thing on there. You got the lid that goes on. I like this attention to detail that the jar could be taken off, but it is, of course, human teeth, as we do know. Uh, Dan Housen on the indie scene. I don't know if he did he do it once in AEW. He got the teeth out and poured them in the mouth. I think Dr. Britt Baker was helping him out with that, possibly. But a very, very small jar of human teeth. Then we get $2 uh, stacks or bill stacks, whatever we're going to call them. And it's Dan Housen money. It shows $100 bills with Dan Housen's face on it. It's on brand. It's on point. So we do get that as well. And then the final piece here is the two gripping hands for Dan Housen. Uh, very nice looking hands here. He's got the, the more cat-like hands going on in the package. He's got the gripping hands here. No fists of fury for Dan Housen, so I guess he's not throwing any fists at anybody. But a very cool thing here, especially Dan Housen fans, they're going to love that bonus Housen accessory set. But now we get down to the old main event. We get down to the old retro-carded figure. Of course, very similar to Hasbro style. Beautiful old school Dan Housen glamour shot going on. Heels and faces. Of course, official wrestling heels and faces. Ages 18 and up. Uh, not for kids, folks. ZST designed by toy legend Ron Rudat. And it's very interesting. They call out Ron Rudat's name. Not a lot of designers get called out on the packaging. Obviously, Ron Rudat, to most people, I think he is known for G.I. Joe. But obviously, he did do a lot, of, if not all, of the Hasbros back in the day. I saw him not too long ago at the G.I. Joe show. So a lot of people do know him from G.I. Joe. Interesting, this being a collector-driven line. This isn't a, a line that's on the store pegs for kids and things. So I guess Ron Rudat call-out makes sense to a collector like me. Would it make sense to a, a little boy of nine years old buying this at the store? Probably not. So it does work in this aspect here. But very nice carding, very nice stiff board on this. I uh, like that a whole lot. I did get a little creasing on this one. I, I did get two of them, like I said. One came minty, minty. This one's got a little bit of crease, and I guess we should just all be happy that I got a creased one because I'm unboxing this anyways, so that does work out. I'm not taking a minty mint one out of circulation, uh, so note on that. But then you got the big cross sell there. Of course, we unboxed all of Series 1 on the channel. Check those out. Can't wait for Series 2. We'll see what happens there. So many retro figures coming out in 2023. I'm going to have to rearrange my setup on my retro figures. Going to have to do uh, go back to the uh, thinking lab and say, okay, how am I going to display these? Because what I did have was perfect. Now there's going to be too many figures. Going to have to change it to something else. Love the big file card down here as well. We'll read the blurb on that. Uh, we do get a little Ron Rudat blueprint discussion. Uh, but you got Series 1, Series 2 promoted there. Let's see what it says on the back here. We do get one zombie sailor point. What are we going to get for that? I don't know. Will he buy us lunch with those? Not exactly sure where those are going or if it's just kind of tongue-in-cheek. It does say Ron Rudat Blueprint. Ron Rudat is a legend in the action figure world whose career spans over four decades. Ron is responsible for creating designs for countless major characters over many classic 80s, 90s lines, most notably G.I. Joe, WWF Hasbro figures. Ron came out of toy retirement. It's tough. COVID made everybody come out of retirement, I guess. Uh, to help bring heels and faces to life by hand drawing each and every wrestler's blueprint design. Really do like that artwork there. It's a little, here's the process. Here's where it started. And it shows that on there, which is really cool. Uh, you get down to the bottom, Danhausen. Hello, Fanhausens. It is I, Danhausen. Thank you for purchasing this very nice, very evil, and now very rare collectible Danhausen actioned figure. Love that Danhausen, or be cursed, says Danhausen. So there you go. Very, very nice. All right, well, we've seen it all. We've talked about it all. It's time to get him out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about, about Mr. Danhausen here. It's going to be interesting because right now I said this thing is going for a, a pretty good chunk of change. Once his AEW Jazzwares figures start to release, though, what will change with that? It'll be interesting. But there it is, kind of the card going on. Got him out of the pack. See you later. Goodbye, and now we're down to it. We're down to the old brass tacks. We're down to the old Danhausen. First thing you notice on this Danhausen is, of course, it is cape season. I've been talking cape season for over two years. It used to be a limited time thing, as you guys all know. Now, cape season, it spans a year-round event. Lando Calrissian, the king of cape season, of course. Many superheroes as well. And now Danhausen is into the fold with his cape. So, cape season running hard, running fast, running free like a young Rio. So, beautiful, beautiful cape here. I mean, just absolutely next level on this cape. Now, I do got a little bit of... Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Well, maybe it's supposed to be that way. Okay, I was a little concerned. There was little tears on the cape, but it looks like that is on point. That's the way it's supposed to be, and it's throughout here, so that makes sense. On the back of the cape, you got Dan Housen. You got the big goat's head, the ram head. Very evil, very satanic back here. Looks like he's going to be in some black metal bands or something. Who knows? 
You got Danhausen on the back. Very nice coloring to the cape. Got to note wires in the cape here. That is unbelievable, especially for a retro figure. You don't even get wired capes in a lot of the G.I. Joe classified lines. Serpentor, we wanted a wired cape. We did not get that. We did get that here. So really next level on this cape. I got to be the first to admit. Absolutely fabulous. Going to say it right now, the greatest cape in retro wrestling figure history. There it is right here. Possibly wrestling history. There hasn't been a lot of capes, uh, but very, very cool. Then it does, I believe, have Velcro. Maybe. Can I get in there to get it off? Well, well, what are we doing here? Let's see. Let's see. Can I get this off? It's always a little dangerous. Is that Velcro? Gosh, mine. No, it's not Velcro. It's looped in there. There we go. Gosh, it's a little bit tough. I would have preferred Velcro. It is a little bit more classy here as you do got the little uh, clasp here. But boy, that is going to be not the easiest. To, well, it goes back on, but Velcro would be a lot easier. I don't know if it would have been cheaper cost-wise. It feels like it would be, but it's got the little metal clasp in there. So you got to go around. But very, very nice attention to detail. It doesn't get much better than this in this form. Nice red underside here looking really, really nice. Now we get down to the Danhausen figure. The capes are great and all, but how is the figure? Very interesting. It definitely is Danhausen. If you're familiar with Danhausen, there is no doubt on any piece of the body here that this is Danhausen. I really, really do like this. Of course, the white face paint. You guys know I'm a sucker for face paint anyways. Got the big smiling face with the teeth. You got the red, the white, even a little bit of blue with a crown here. Very, very good head sculpt. Got a haircut you can set your watch to is what Danhausen has there. He's got his black ears. Looks really, really good. Of course, the head side to side all the way around. Nice movement on the head. Arms all the way around as well. Waist articulation, and that's where it ends. But that's pretty typical with retro figures. No articulation from the waist down. But works very good. And then you do get the hands, though, that spin side to side. So that is kind of nice. Obviously, hands are removable. I got to decide how I'm going to display this. I feel like he needs to be holding some of these accessories from that pack. We're probably going to have to do that. Then we get down to these very, very evil tattoos. And I believe he's probably added some tattoos since this. Uh, I'd have to imagine. I, I don't know. I'm not super, super familiar with Danhausen's tattoo. I don't sit there with a magnifying glass and study him. Uh, but this was probably developed quite some time ago. I'm sure he's got a tattoo or two since then. We got the nice bicep tattoos down into the forearm and both arms. Very colorful. These aren't just generic tattoos. You know, we've had figures before. It's just kind of a, a dot black or whatever, just <laughs> mimicking the tattoos he actually has. These look very, very detailed there, especially the chest one. And that's the one most people do remember is his chest tattoo. Very evil once again. Very satanic going on there. Is he worshiping at the altar of the devil on the side? Who knows? I've been accused of it myself a time or two. Uh, not true. Not true. Uh, but very, very interesting. He's got the little Danhausen belt buckle kind of going on with the red belt. Black and red pants here. Got the red striping to break up the monotony of the black. But looks very, very nice. He does got peg holes. Does that mean he's going to fit on a ringside collectible stand? Should we use discount code Kyle? Save 10%? We might as well. Uh, what do you know? Look at that. He fits perfectly on there. You don't necessarily need him for stability, but if I'm uh, doing this, I'd probably throw him on stand. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Gives even more stability. This isn't some five, ten dollar toy you can replace very easily. This is a very expensive collector's item. So if you have him, get as much protection on him as you possibly can. Protect that Danhausen. You got to do that right there. But man, oh man, blown away. Is it worth the wait? I would say yes. It doesn't work me up too much. Obviously, I don't want to wait either. I don't like people sitting on my money for that amount of time. I absolutely do hate it. But at the same time, it is kind of the nature of the beast we're living in right now. And obviously, like I said earlier, is working to clean that up. So to me, this is a fabulous, fabulous one. Uh, if you want this now, you're going to have to pay up for it, unfortunately, at this point. But let's do some comparisons on this guy here. Uh, let's grab a clown. And Danhausen's not quite a clown, but let's grab an old school retro figure that has some face paint going on. Obviously, normally I'd go to the Ultimate Warrior, but it's just not fair to Danhausen. Uh, so we're going to go Doink the Clown, and we're going to have to use this Doink the Clown on the channel here in a couple of days as well as we review the new Doink the Clown retro style figure. But you can kind of see that. That definitely works in the same scale uh, for sure. Definitely looks like it matters there. Uh, then I grabbed a Cella figure. I grabbed old Jay White here. Now this is where things get a little strange. Obviously, he's got a bend to the knees here. Jay White's a little bit straight up. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the height differences. Jay White's probably a little taller than Danhausen, but 
you can kind of see how he scales there with a cella. As we know, retros, their scaling is really all over the place, really has always kind of been that way. I did grab some other zombie sailor figures. You got Brian Myers, of course, and Matt Cardona, some non-classic guys, somebody that's in his kind of uh, bracket here of modern day wrestlers, these three here, of course. So you can kind of see how they scale together. Different skin tones between the three, which is interesting. Uh, to me, I like Matt Cardona's skin tone the best, but that wouldn't really work for Dan Housen, so that makes all the sense there. But you can kind of see that Murder's Row lineup of different retro style figures here. To me, it works. It scales in. You got to use your imagination with retro lines as they always were a little bit off as, as we do know collecting way back to the 80s, 90s time frame, of course. But Dan Housen, man oh man, very, very good figure here. It was worth the wait at the end of the day. Yes, it was frustrating, but now that we have it, I like it a whole lot. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my second one. I kind of want to keep it at this point, and I think that's where I'm leaning to. But to get these extra accessories, I would love to see this in the future with some more figures from this line. Very cool idea with some of these little packs. Uh, we'll see what happens with that going forward as well. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking up Dan Housen? You passing? You playing the long housing? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we're unboxing everything wrestling here on the channel on top of everything else. Where's my James Brown cape? Hardest work man in YouTube. That's what we are over here on this channel. Make sure you check out the Patreon for even more content, if you can believe that, and your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then finally, you get to hit me up and follow along over on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Dan Housen, I'm Kyle Housen, and I'll see you guys all real soon.